we do not respond effectively to threats. This is not the first time that criminals have attacked the Abuja Kaduna, Kaduna train. train. Okay. No one, no one in NRC will say with finality that this was the first time. Or that they didn't expect that this sort of thing could happen. Mm. But we are just naturally who, who, who careless. We, we wait for something big that will affect all of us to happen before we take a major decision. Put it this way. People, Did we wait, God go do one. Yes. <laughs> we, <laughs> this, um, this train had been pelted with stones before. Bandits operating on this route had attacked the train before. The only, um, at that time, it wasn't the rail tracks that were targeted. But they had targeted the train before. There was a time when even uh, fighter jets were accompanying trains. Yes, this Abuja Kaduna train. Yeah. Fighter jets were com com um, accompanying the train to the destination. Mm. It, that was done at that time because there was a feeling that, look, there's a threat somewhere. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. that these elements could do something funny. What they have done, I've heard all kinds of stories, oh, that uh, um, they were attacked by terrorists, this and that. If terrorists indeed attacked them, they were marooned in that bush for more than four hours. Hmm. They would have been easy pickings for the terrorists. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Because given how mm -hmm. well harmed those terrorists are, uh, general purpose machine gun, um, what was it, RPGs, rocket mm. propelled grenades, and AK-47, AK-49, nothing will have stopped them from taking on the passengers in the bus, I mean in the train. But, but, of but course, what, uh, what must have happened was, okay, they damaged the, the rail tracks. That's and a, then they, 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 they planted seeing. explosives to damage the rail tracks. But they didn't necessarily stay at the location. So, Because if they are stay, stay at, the, at the location, just the way they ambush soldiers in the northeast, yeah. they yeah. will put explosives on the route that soldiers are, are passing through. Once an uh, uh, explosive devices go off and it triggers a big panic, hmm. they will now come out of the bush and start firing at the yeah, soldiers. So yeah. this was not what happened. They had clearly planted explosives on the rail tracks with the intention of damaging the rail tracks, but they didn't really stay there. I guess that the goal could also be to force people who are using the trains to begin to use the road. Again. And everyone, yes, more people, because when you cannot use the train, system and you are now forced to go back to the road because a lot of people even soldiers generals it is these trains that they enter mm. their convoys will now go and wait for them at the train station in the gasa That's to it. pick them up yeah so if, no, yeah. people do not want to travel by road this is a fact because when you travel mm. by road on that highway is one of the most dangerous in our country you could be kidnapped so it, perhaps they sabotage the rail tracks so that this trade service will not be available for our people and more and more yeah. of our people will be forced to use we'll, we'll be scared the, the highway of, of going by where, they could, where they will now... No, it's not even being scared I'm talking about. When you can't use the rail tracks, when you, you can't use the, you now have to go by, by road. Yeah. Or by road. So they want heavier traffic on that road so that they can then... Uh, kidnap uh, more people because mm. a lot of people, rich people, mi the mi military people, they now prefer to use the train because it's safer. Cozier and uh, will take so many people at the same time. Yes, and the risk of being kidnapped mm. uh, is not there. Paul, Paul, you know, we this should we knew it was waiting to happen. So being preemptive is, is 
what my my wahala here that's usually our problem that's mm. usually our problem that's um the train service uh, was started because um or to make things easier for people and a lot of people avoided i have, I have gone through uh, that that route before I, okay I, I traveled from abuja to to rigasa and of course of course that time too, i was avoiding the abuja <laughs> yeah, highway. Ca yes exactly mm. i was avoiding it and uh, like bko said this had happened before this time mm. it had happened mm. before and then we relaxed apparently and um, mm -hmm. What even baffles me is that this thing happened on Wednesday night. They came back on Thursday morning. Also, did that the second attack came back uh, happened uh, hours after, mm. and uh, nothing happened. I think um, it's time we we started taking things very seriously. We need to change the narrative, uh, our uh, narrative of our security in this country. Along that route, there are so many communities through which bandits and terrorists can can come through. You yeah. know, they can even hide there for, for, yeah. for days. Yeah. So surveillance, intelligence gathering, it and all is, of that. Is lacking. Is that missing? Missing. Oh.